Thank you very much, uh, uh, Michel. I took good note of uh, Prime Minister May's statement yesterday. Of course, I don't share the Prime Minister's enthusiasm about Brexit as such. Since the very beginning, we have had no doubt that Brexit is a lose-lose situation and that our negotiations are only about damage control. Given these extremely difficult circumstances, I would like to thank Michel Barnier and his team, especially Sabine Veyant and Stéphanie Rizzo, for doing this exceptionally hard work. Michel, we all put a lot of trust in you, and rightly so. You have achieved our two most important objectives. First, you ensured the limitation of the damage caused by Brexit, and second, you secured the vital interest and principles of the 27 member states and of the European Union as a whole. If I weren't confident that you did your best to protect the interest of the 27, and I am familiar with the essence of the document, I would not propose to formalize this deal. In the next days, we will proceed as follows. The agreement is now being analyzed by all the member states. By the end of this week, the EU 27 ambassadors will meet in order to share the assessment of the agreement. I hope that there will not be too many comments. They will also discuss the mandate for the Commission to finalize the joint political declaration about the future relations between the EU and the UK. The European ministers will be involved in this process. The Commission intends to agree the declaration about the future with the UK by Tuesday. Over the following 48 hours, the Member States will have time to ev evaluate it, which means that the EU27 Sherpas should conclude this work on Thursday. Then, if nothing extraordinary happens, we will hold a European Council meeting in order to finalize and formalize the Brexit agreement. It will take place on Sunday, the 25th of November at 9.30 a.m. Finally, let me say this to our British friends. As much as I am sad to see you leave, I will do everything to make this farewell the least painful possible, for both for, for you and for us. Thank you. Thank you, Michel. No questions, no questions tonight. Are you worried about Westminster?